Hello. Hi. It's it's the day. I've been waiting a whole 24 hours to watch this. And I've been waiting a whole week to watch my girls. So anyways. Hello everybody. Welcome to Wow. Um reaction. that was rather That's... dramatic. Um <laughs> Where we react and discuss to some of the newest, you know, music videos that are out there. Sometimes older, sometimes newer. And today is a newer one that I'm really excited. Why am I excited, Tandy? Actually, well, this no, pink Himalayan why... salt up there. <laughs> pink Himalayan salt, yes. So it's I'm excited, excited for these Bongtan boys that I've been hearing about. Oh, oh. That you've been hearing oh, oh. about. <laughs> okay, so, y'all. It is the day we react to BTS. This is our first BTS reaction that we are actually going to post. Um, and we are reacting to Dynamite, which is another first. It is their first all English song that they are releasing. It's not the first time I've done an all English song, but it's the first time that they've done like a title track version of an all English song. Yeah. So Ooh. we're going so to put wait, that wait, out there. Because technically, this... uh, Mic Drop was English too, but that's. Well, they re released it in English. Yeah. Um, but um, so this is a new album. Like it's. This is the the album this is going to be English or is it just a single? No, just the single is going to be in English. So people have been getting that confused. It's supposed to just be the single that's going to be in English. This song was supposed to be made as like a thank you and as like a calm, relaxing, like something to help international fans is what they were saying, which is why they did it in English. Mm-hmm. Um, so everybody can understand the message of the song. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm here for it. I've seen like pictures. I've had to like stay away from social media so I could actually see what's happening. So, y'all, are y'all ready for this? Because I'm not ready for this. BTS, Dynamite, we're going to hit this down. All right. If y'all didn't know, I love BTS, old group. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's get it. (laughs) When I see Big Hit do this, and it's not for BTS, it's weird to me. I'm still just so used to that. I love Tay's outfit and Hope's outfit. Thank you. That's so rude. <laughs> milk? How old are you? <laughs> I'm the milk. Shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. Kink out, kick the drum, running on the stone. Sing song when I'm walking home, jump up to the top of the brown. Yeah, okay, I need the style of him forever. Pumpkin! <laughs> Hold on, this is the whole movie. Mm-hmm. Y'all lucky I can't pause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. 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 <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> okay. Hey. Yeah, I love that. Oh, that's a cute outfit, sugar. That's yeah. cute. Uh-huh. That's- Okay. 
Ok. Okay, oh, sir. You're cute. You know okay, what? Sir. That was rude. That was unnecessary. Okay, sir. Unnecessary. And this is what we got to look at. <laughs> it's just unnecessary. That's the work and everything. Okay, sir. I'm I, so I'll happy. let you guys uh, do your thoughts while I adjust this screen. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so happy. Like, it was I'm actually really smiling. good. Yeah, I, you know, y'all know I love me some disco. So uh, this whole disco vibe and feel. Ooh. I, I like it. It was it was fun, and it being in all English, I didn't realize. Like I recognized it was in all English, but I didn't realize it because I wasn't. I don't know if I can explain how I'm saying it. Like I, I'm so used to hearing the voices now that I was just vibing to the song and then listening to it. I'm just like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. This is this is definitely a song that's going on like my morning wake up playlist though, because like everything right. about this is like a hey. We can light it up. Like, I had to check it. this shirt because I was trying to see because if it says Face shirt? Jam. Is it a space jam? It might no, be. It's, no, it's no, because it says something else at the end. I thought it was a space jam. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like thinking of their their uniforms. Um, oh, this is it's a... Toon Squad. It is. Yeah, Toon Squad. Oh, okay, cool. It's cute. Oh, that was a team. Yeah, that was <gasps> a team. Yeah, that's cute. Is that an Easter egg? Well, they did a lot of, even though this was a more disco flavor mm-hmm. this song, they did a lot of different dances from different eras. They did the, uh, no, when what I was it? East- Sister oh. Act. Yeah, and they right. did um the little, the, the house party kick thing. Yes, I saw the house party kick. So I was these like, al- this is, hmm? huh? I was going to say, these outfits were, even though they had some of the disco vibe for, like, a feel of it, a lot of them were really the 90s yeah. type outfits. Yeah, I did have one thing I that I felt were, like it was weird. Okay. And some of the, not Cookie's voice, but I think most of the other singers, there was a little bit of too much modulation for their mm-hmm. voice. Because there was mm-hmm. one part when Jimin's part came up, and I was like, who, who is yeah. that? Yes, and the voice was like... Really it was like, really high, but it was like high in the way where I thought it was a different person until Me it got too. later into the lyric or to the verse. And I'm like, oh, it's him singing. But mm-hmm. at the beginning of it, it literally sounded like a totally different person. I was like, so who's, who's your backup vocals? Oh, mm-hmm. it's a member. And they do this weird modulation thing that they did at the beginning of most people's voices. Um, I noticed there wasn't... There's usually, what, like three raps in the song because they're trying to get everybody some time. It was definitely yeah. a singer, more singer-heavy Focus. song. Yeah, but also but- it kind of missed... I miss that rap line flavor that they, I'm fine. you know. I'm fine with us not always getting the rap line flavor. Yeah. I, I mean, I say that very lightly because, you know, rap line, even though I love vocal line, rap line, they my bays. Yeah. Because, I mean, I got June tattooed on my on my arm. Like, a Shorty, rap line. Shorty's, uh, Shorty committed. Shorty prepared. Shorty's ready to be like, yo, it's us to the end. What uh-huh. kills me is... And we'll we'll get into this more after the break. But what kills me with this one is that even though it was more of a vocal focus, visually yeah. we didn't get to see one of the vocalists as much as we saw the other ones. Oh yeah, and we will I talk did. about that after, after a little back. dissecting. Yep. Yes. Sean? So we yep. go. We go. <laughs> be right back. Okay. And we are back. I can't hit notes, so I don't even know why I try. All right, but we have reviewed, we have watched, we have discussed, and now it's time for us to discuss it with y'all because it's that time. That's why we're here. We're here. Yes. So, who would like to go first? I would go first. I want to get this off my chest. Who drinks milk? (laughs) It was the she was complaining about this this entire time, but it's just so weird. Like, nobody wastes a little glass of milk. Like, that was a full glass. It wasn't even, like, you know, it was just, like, an eight ounce. No, that was, like, 16 ounces. <laughs> I mean, he, he wants good bones, okay? But I do 
I did see his his uh, finger tattoos when he picked up the milk and he was drinking it. It did show. So they didn't. Yes, they covered him up, but they didn't like put makeup over his tattoos. So that was interesting. <laughs> um, he was putting on Tim, so it made sense. Like, how are you gonna put on Tim and not show your tattoos? I'm just like, Tim's and tattoos go together. Yeah. Anywho, um. For me, I love the song. Like, I can listen to the song over and over. But the issue I have with the video is the color palette is bright, but Muted. there's a uh, a, fil- a white filter on it. Like, a, a dilution to, like, anything. Their undertones. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, let's take June, for instance. June has, like... He does have darker skin, but he also has, like, a, a yellow undertone. So, he looks like a weird um, foundation tone. I don't know. It's just... It was kind of weird. Um, the other part that I found kind of threw me off is the... Vo- Jimin's vocals. They're yeah. not bad. It's just they did a... He was either singing under people or when he sang for himself when he sang under himself it sounded like a different person and then yeah. it like gradually went into him and i was just like what is i think they could have if they were going to do the under vocals maybe have someone with more contrasting voice than himself Jimin. yeah 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 cuz yeah. it was it was interesting to me cuz i'd listen to it i'm like wait but that's Jimin on top and that's Jimin on the bottom it sounds right. like it didn't sound like he was a backup singer it sounded like they used his vocals right but, but it they changed his voice with it. Yeah. yeah they changed it so that it wouldn't be exactly him but like there's no one else in the group that has that pitch or yeah. that 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 tone of voice so when it did come to him when it was like officially his line it was a weird modulation that they went into so you know that it's only his voice Whereas mm-hmm. the other ones, like, it would say, oh, it's a B line, but actually, uh, it, it was actually Jimin singing it, so it's, his voice came through more than, mm. it was just a lot. And then also, I feel like they modulated Jimin's, I mean, not Jimin's, V's voice in certain parts. Um, it was just a weird, I don't know what to call the effect, because I don't think I've heard it from BTS a lot, so... I can't really point it out or think of another song that sounded like this. Right. Um, the other thing that I noticed is the the distribution of screen time. Yes. We like we barely Sugar didn't yeah. barely existed. He was only really like in the forefront on that basketball right. court. Mm-hmm. And then for Hope, most of his scene was in that shop where Last he wore the black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then um Jin, most of his shot was that uh, disco area. Well, hold on. Let me let me put my two cents in because you said, you said Jim. He literally, even for his own solo voice part, his own solo singing part, mm-hmm. he did not get a solo video, mm. a, a solo visual. Yeah. Each of them got their own solo visuals of something, even if it was short for some yeah. other than the others. But Jin did not get that. And mm-hmm. it bugs me because... and. People will disagree, agree, and y'all can say whatever you want. I am not a Jin Solo. I love all my boys. My bias oh, David is Bowie's on the wall. Uh, I'm looking at the posters. Yeah, Terminator. Has, a lot of great yeah. posters in the okay. background. But yeah. All the, yeah. Um, I'm not a Jin Solo stand or anything like that, but I do think it is not uncommon for them to do this. This is not the first time this has happened. Um, this is the first time where it's been so little where I'm like, why didn't he even get his own solo? Um, but in Not Today, it was the same thing. He didn't. He got very little screen time. Um, so, like, this isn't the first time. So I don't get why. I would understand more if this was more of a rap-heavy song and they focused on the rappers, but this was literally a vocal a strong song. song. Yeah. This was, this was the vocalist. Yeah. And yes, you got you got solos of our Makne line, which you know I love the babies. I love Cookie. I love Tay. I love Jim and um but if you guys forget or if they forget, Jin is also a part of that vocal line. Right. And he should have had the same distribution when it came to visual that you got instead of just the group visual. Right. Um and as she was saying, rap line got very little uh, I think Hope was the second what, the second one that had the least. No. Yes, the least. Uh, in terms of that. screen time, I think Hope and Sugar both had, like... You see Hope more because, like, his visual is different these days. Mm-hmm. But in terms of, like, being in front of the camera, both Sugar and Hope, like, their screen time 
at least from like what we can see, it was just so minimal. You know what I mean? Like in front. Yeah. yeah. And so and what, it, I was gonna say what's bad about it too is even when you see them, like with the group aspect, they're in the back. Right. Most of the time. Not most all the time. Of the time. Most of the time. Right. Okay. And sorry. then also, um it's I get that this is a full BTS song, right? I do think they could have just went with the vocal line doing the entire song and switching out some of like uh, June's parts and adding it to V and then um, Hope's parts adding it to Jen and then just having it with the four guys singing the song. They can dance together, but I think it would have been nice to just just give the whole song vocals without doing those like sing song raps. It it wasn't necessary. It didn't. It won't take anything away from the song either. Yeah, and then um, we can have a rap line song. Yeah, yeah, and then have a rap line song, and then they they are ahead of you know like have the more screen time in their own song. But I have a um, question. Yeah. Uh, not to cut you off, but do you think they their last English release was Mike Drop, right? Well. It wasn't a English release originally. It was a re-release, right? But it was that that was their last full like English kind of thing. No, for I a, mean it doesn't have to group, be. I'm just for asking. group work. Yes, for a group work title track. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe part of why this was like more sing heavy or more vocal heavy was because my drop was very rap heavy, and maybe they wanted to like switch it up a bit as far as English releases go, but, you know... I, Even when they I would did agree that one, with that if they the had a time lot of... period was close. My I would have thought up. so, too, but you know they're not checking well, for us. But even when they did that <laughs> before, they um, they still had a lot of their vocal line visually represented in the music video. Yeah, that's right. That's, I will agree with that. Even though it was a, a rap line heavy song, visually I felt like I saw everyone... And a pretty good distribution, even if yeah. they didn't have a line or as much time as, like, the, the rappers. Anywho, in terms of the, besides, like, the filtering, I do like the, I guess, the sets that they have. Like, I wanted okay. to see more of them playing around in this um, this record shop. I wanted to see them more in, inside of the donut shop. I thought those would have been better uses of space than being outside, because mm-hmm. outside was just, like, a big blank wall and then disco up top. And I'm like, they, like, this would have been fun if they were playing with what was in the shop. Like, mm. you know, because um, they were playing off of different dances and different eras in American music. Uh, right. Specifically. So one of the things that was popular in the eras that they're going with is burger joints. In all, mm-hmm. like, like they could have done burger joints like Grease or they could have done burger joints like Good Burger you know what I mean? Yeah. So like it would have been fun that they played with those sets a little bit more instead of it just being a solo shot. But yeah. you know, we didn't you know, we didn't make the video. Um right. shout out to Sugar for, you know, the Space Jam basketball. Shirt. <laughs> we love you for that. I thought that was cute. I want this shirt. Um the other thing what else did I wanna say? I feel like I'm losing track. Um, the song was pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. There wasn't anything in the lyrics. I feel like this is one of those songs we can be like, where we don't have to dissect stuff. Because <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. And um, even though we got a lot less, I guess, vocals from most of the group, it still was a... Um, when, when Cookie sang, like, I don't know what Cookie be, like, doing to make his voice so smooth. But it was just so pleasant, mm-hmm. you know? And I was like, okay, all right, hey... <laughs> and so, um, and I think they knew what they were doing with this song being geared towards their international fans because of the sound of Cookie Voice is, is so universal that okay. anyone would like, like it's any any language his voice sounds good in. But I can't say the same for all the other vocalists because it's, I feel like, I don't want to say Cookie's voice is generic. It's just very versatile in the tone that he sings in. You know okay. what I mean? He can go higher, he can go lower. And it still it still has like I don't know he's just very talented the the control he has in his voice and I really yes. like it. Um, yeah, this end scene I'm not, I thought of like yeah, Teletubbies. It's... I thought of Skittles. You know that so Skittles no, when they, when they fly up. If they didn't do the flying up with the heel, I was thinking like a Teletubby would come running down. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> with the, the hills, the mountain, the, um, yeah. the valleys and stuff. The valleys yeah. and stuff. But um, it was a... Uh, it was pretty interesting. It was pretty yeah. interesting sets. Um, and I don't like that shot where they were dancing, like, two at a time in front of the disco building because the way that the camera was was, like, cutting off their feet. So it was kind of up at an angle like this. And I was just like, I want to see all of them. I, you, put it down. Mm. <laughs> put it down. Put I want to see down. them. But, yeah, I think that's all I had to say about it, pretty much. Okay. I'll go. Um, no. <laughs> yeah <laughs> no absolutely not no um i actually really enjoyed the the disco and mm. funk and like old sounding vibe and feel you saw it not only in the music itself but you also saw it in their outfits wait, 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 and wait, their wait. dance moves. before you continue why is this surfboard on his bed like that you go to sleep with I think they're trying to show. I, I to be quite honest, this is probably gonna sound really messed up, but they're probably trying to show like what a uh, average American home <laughs> yeah, or like a, a, or the California look, the California, thought of California yeah. life. That's yeah. the type of stuff. That I they, say that yeah, and the, 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 the room he's in, right? The room he had, he's in had that pivot pivot. No, it had that like attic scene. Yeah, and then but that's like home. more like northeast attics but then they right. added in California. It's these- not a California thing to be in the attic. Like it's hot. They no I mean it depends. Yeah, we have, it depends no, on the house. No yeah. But I really feel like that was an architectural nah, style for Midwest we don't stay and up East there. Coast that we mm-hmm. use our I don't know what they say in the house. All I know is that he was in a very American looking room with they all these sure posters were. and stuff. And a keyboard on the side and things all over yeah, the floor. Yeah little little my, uh what is a guitar think, speaker. I don't really care a lot for all the sets, to be quite honest. Mm. I like this basketball scene court. Only scene court. Wow. Basketball court scene. I pref- I, I don't know. Me, personally, I like seeing murals and walls mm. and, and yeah, this it kind really of... Nice. It was nice. Yeah. yeah. To me, the donut... I get the donut theme and why they put it in there and calling it dynamite donuts and coffee or something like that. I thought that was really cool. However, it was so CGI that I kind of didn't care for it maybe i i just felt like it was too cgi and do you think um, this disco sign looks like ikea it could be replaced with ikea <laughs> no um yeah, oh, it's, lettering. No. it's, possible. it's but, blue like, background bubbly. was with yellow letters that's it ikea's bubbly brand and they colors letters, like the orange uh, orange outline yeah you're yeah. right they kind of shifted it a little bit yeah i think my favorite set all together was the this futuristic disco because yeah, outside it had like a dated looking disco like sign like you know something from back in the day mm-hmm. but when you go inside it was futuristic with that that the the ceiling and the the way it was set up i was like this is more yeah i wanted to see more of the scene because they looked like they were having fun it did it did yeah. and that whole all the dance moves they were doing here with yeah. the um Saturday Night Fever kind yeah. of move and yeah. all of that. Yeah. So I did like the homage to all with all the different dance moves. They did use House Party. They did. Uh, they did That's uh, so cute. <laughs> a lot of stuff. It was really cute. Um, I I agree with you, Tandy. With the whole, you don't really understand what they were doing with um Jimin's voice or how he was singing. Like how they did the undertone and over. It just it was just weird. It was a little off putting. I think it was I a choice that they could have like listen to the song again and like understood that I guess we're what Marie had said during our break was like it, it felt like they did they usually have like someone else doing their undertones or something like that and just having him under it mm-hmm. it kind of it kind of it was just weird choice with his yeah. voice I personally I'm- don't like when they play with their voices like this just because I think naturally without it it's not needed no. but because they're going for a stylistic feel yeah. For this song, it yeah. fit what they were trying to do with the song. Yeah, it was so like I get really, it. I just don't. Almost like auto tune. It's almost like yeah. that. You know when they use the uh, the straw the thing and they, the to You know yes. that thing. Like where it sounds. Maybe yes. that's what it was. Maybe because they did that on V's voice very prominently on one part, and I was just like, they didn't need to do that. I don't know. Right. Yeah, I continue. I'm sorry, you right. But the instrument, no, no, yeah, the instrument where you blow. Yeah, and you blow as you play the piano. Yeah, and it just has that. 
it. I don't know. I mean, if if that's what they were going for with sound, it would have been cool if they showed it. They didn't have to show him doing it, but yeah. maybe just like some random person on the side playing it. But no, it's all about BTS. So you right. know, they didn't put it would have been it. nice to see someone like DJ because that was around <gasps> this area. And the record store would have been a perfect be opportunity yeah. to have a like DJ they have a did they like turn it into table. a disco party? Yo, and like, like June's on there, and he like, and everybody comes in. The the the, the records yeah. go to the side, and it turns into that disco platform. Right. That would have been, been really great. cute. That would have been cool. I like I said, I I didn't. The donut scene was the this part. Like having to have the donut and do this scene, I get it. But I didn't. I don't like how CGI the donut shop mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. Maybe, it's, mm-hmm. but I just thought. It I was, mean, the whole scene is very uh, LA CGI. I his glasses here like th- th- that's another thing <laughs> they really chose like to do this whole stylized like you like you said with the the going back in time but making sure even their clothes looks like it like their dance moves look like, like it like it's just like the the same the mannerisms they did with the grease grease in your hair back and stuff so it was cute I did enjoy that. it was really cute like it no no bs it's, it's super cute and i think the song itself, I want to listen to it without watching the video yeah. because I think I was trying to pick up on things in the video too much to actually hear it. I need to like hear it, hear it to see how I feel about those vocal things that you mentioned. Um, but yeah, my favorite part is definitely the inside the futuristic disco and the, um, one of the dancers was, one of the members was in the front dancing by himself and they were like, hello, can you come? Like, look, right here, when he called them in, like, Yo, come we on, like, come in, in. we about to do the thing at the disco. Oh, yeah, it tastes called yeah. Jimin. Yeah, I was. I just thought that was cute. I think also and, I would. Um, sorry to cut you off because that no, made no, me think good. of something. I wanted to see more of these outfits, but yes. less zoomed out. They kept zooming in so much, and I really loved the way it fit. A uh, hope, and I wanted to just see it a little bit more focus on him. Yeah, I wanted to see it focus on I, other members, mm-hmm. and it kind of like it's flash, flash, flash. I'm like, wait, I want to see the whole thing, but then mm-hmm. it's I don't know. I agree. I didn't know. I I wanted to see, like honestly, I would have been satisfied if it was if most of it was in that little disco place. You know, like that would be really cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I feel how I feel about the pastel-y colors, but I guess that goes with BTS's palette. If we're thinking about like um, what was the name of the other song? Uh, Boy with Love and all of these things. Like they always have these pastel-y kind of. Uh, do they, do you think they do this pastel palette for certain type of songs they do? Like the more yeah, they don't always do this palette. This is specific for their last two right. theme feels. Right, right, right. And there is a part here where he's in like that pool, like a pool that has no water in it, but and there's like a, I don't know what that is. What kind of whatever. a hallway but to this, like a I mean like a walkway to like a amusement park because like it was an amusement park. Right. Behind him. I would have liked to see if they was in the amusement park instead of that weird walkway thing. Cute. But you know that's, that's where the disco at. You know, yes, it could have. Oh, that could have been a portion. I have a of whole. I have a whole like. I just came up with a whole like redress of this video. I'll tell you after Marie has her thoughts, yeah. but it's actually pretty cool. I, I I think. Hey BTS, can you? I mean, Big K, can you call me because I want I want to talk to you about a remix. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lord is yeah. remaking their videos. I mean, it it just needs a little twerking. Twerking, wow. Twerking. Wow. I can't English tonight. I mean, Marie. if there was some twerking, Marie. now I'm saying. Marie, go ahead. Y'all fired. Okay. Dang, we fired, man. I heard trying to... Anyways. Um, I'm doing like a, a COVID. <laughs> oh, are you doing COVID? Um, I like the song. This is going to be... One of the songs that's on my like morning playlist to get up and get ready because this is like a song I was just you just have to dance naturally to it. Uh, cinematography wise, since you know I got to touch on the cinematography wise, I love the transitions between scenes. Like because I think Cook did something where he went like this, and then June grabbed it back and went the opposite way, and like it tra- it pulled the scene over. I mean, they did that a lot for when they were doing some of their solo shots. I agree with Tandy when it comes to some of their close up shots. They are doing a three quarter shot. Sorry if this sounds really, really technical. They're doing a three-quarter shot, though, and I've never liked those shots um, Mm. because, or even if it's not a three-quarter, it's a little bit more than that because they're cutting off at the ankle. Yeah. And it's a weird choice. You cinematography-wise, you normally do a three-quarter, so it'll be it'll be like here or here or um, like your thigh maybe, but you never cut off at the ankle. That's just an odd place to cut off. And they did do that a lot when it came to some of these scenes. And that bugged me a little bit. Um, Their 
shots though in general were great were great like see some of those shots with jimin i really want to see his dancing because i know he can dance also mm-hmm. i need to see sugar dance like he started to do a little bit of the moonwalk and like he's having a little people fun over there under, people the underestimate sugar yungi okay. yungles august d that man can dance so let me see him dance oh actually you know what all of them can dance yeah. so there you go I'm gonna need y'all to let me see them actually grew. I'm sorry. Every time I see the, I just it makes me happy. The sister <laughs> act, I loved it. Um, but I do like seeing them have more fun with it than it being so choreographed. I like seeing them for this song because this was just a song that is a feel good, fun song mm-hmm. to lift people's spirits, and that's what they did. Um, like that's the whole grease thing right there, and it's it's fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. But I also wish that they would have, the way they shot certain things, they would have kind of put more thought into it. Um, yeah. Also, when it comes to this, when it comes to editing, I do know and agree with Tandy when she said they put a white screen over it. They did lighten them, and I, I understand it's a, a stylistic choice. It is a choice that in Korean culture that you do like to look brighter and whiter, um, but it does take away for me some of the natural color coming from the boys because a mm-hmm. lot of them, not all, all of them, but um, some it of them took away have their a darker skin tone. tone, their undertone. It yes, made it, took- it a weird. You ever like put on some makeup that's not for you, and it, on your face it does this weird undertone where it looks kind of greenish or yellowish. Like it has. Mm. It's just some of them look like it's. It's a weird makeup choice but, when it's really the filter. But it's not every yeah. shot because there yeah. are some of these shots, like uh, Cook in the first shot and Jimin in some of his shots when he's outside. You can see their tones and their skin looks great. Their color is showing through. It looks very pure with the way that they're showing. But then some of these other shots, like here, Tay, like, you, this can is see, yeah. you can still see his color. Yeah. Mm. But there are some shots where you can see that they look kind of ashy. That's what yeah. it is. It ashes out their color. And so they don't look like their full their full skin tone is showing. And mm-hmm. I do know, like I said, I do know in um, Korea and a lot of Asian cultures, it is a thing to look lighter. Um, so they will do that when it comes to editing of the films. They will do that when it comes to the makeup and all those choices. But even here, look, Jim, <gasps> Jimin was That's glowing. Funny. You can see you could see their glow underneath. And it, it bugs me a little bit to not see them in their natural state. Um, mm-hmm. Because I know naturally when you see pictures of them not edited... They do have a little bit of a glow to them because everybody has an undertone color. Even yeah. Yoongi is probably out of this entire group the lightest one in the group when it comes to just natural color tone. I mean, even he has a natural color that comes out, um, and so you could see when they put that white tone over it that it looks even. Um, it makes him look a little bit more washed out than it normally would. Mm-hmm. So I wish they would, have, even though it's the palette that they're going for. I get it could still be pastel without being so muted when it comes to their looks. Um, now, your boys are talented. This is another bop. I'm trying not to fangirl as much because I, the, my bias is going to show no matter you, what. Do what you got to do, girl. We here for All you. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, you, and you. I just, I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm missing them. I miss them so much. And I'm really glad for their comeback. I'm glad they got a little bit of sleep, even though I know they really didn't sleep. But I'm glad they got, got some rest. Um, and to see them coming back with something that's more fun is great. Because I know they're going to come back with something that's completely opposite when they actually have their album drop next mm-hmm. month. Is it next mm-hmm. month? I think it's next month. Um, so I'm really excited to see that. But this was overall a song that's going to be on my playlist. It's a song that I can understand why people are ranting and raving about. It is something that I can listen to over and over and not get tired of. Um, and it's a song that I can actually sing word for word and not sound like an idiot because it's in English. Um, <laughs> but I do also agree. This this look goes very well with Boy With Love. Yeah. Um, they literally, even the wording on this um, sign matches. So you can see it's a brother concept or a sister yeah. concept yeah. to what Boy With Love was but with yeah. a little bit of a twist. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested in seeing what their new concept is going to be besides this. Are they going to keep with this type of feel or are we moving on to an entirely new branding yeah. Yeah. where it's a, like a different BTS. Right. Um, styling for the boys, I love. The only one who I have a little bit of a complaint with just a little bit is uh, Jin in that one outfit where they put orange on orange and then his hair is orange. It's just too much. I think they could have given him like a white t-shirt or they could have given him a different color top to kind of complement a little bit more. Mm. But even his pants, is his hair, his pants, and his shirt are all the same tone. Mm. And I'm like, y'all, he is the visual. Visual. And y'all ain't having him stand out. I obviously sound like a Jin stand in this entire video. 
<laughs> I just I will go hands for Jin, but uh, this was I'm I'm happy I'm happy with this song. I can understand why people love it. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. It's 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 in my heart, and you know, yeah. <laughs> the okay, so hear me out. This is the end. Hear me oh, out, y'all. Yeah. All right, so this is what happened. Cookie wakes up right, and he's still in that room. His scene doesn't change, right? But what if he? Li- he works in the shop that he lives on top of, which is June's record shop, right? And then June's record shop, <laughs> June's record shop, every Friday night they do a disco, right? And so disco, the disco, and then oh, sorry, it's a bug. Um, so they have a little disco party, and then there's like a special door to the disco through the shop, and so all the all his boys come through. You got to pick up a certain album to get in. And then they do that disco. The main stage should be just the that disco area that we were talking about. Um, mm-hmm. And then, like, the little scenes where they're by themselves, it can still be the basketball court or this outdoor scene or something like that. But the main part should be mostly in that disco area so we can indulge in that. Like, uh, Hope and, and Sugar could work at the donut shop or whatever, and they get off of work and they go, you know what I mean? That's what I was thinking. Like, this deep, would accomplish. She got, we have a whole concept. So, if y'all would like to hit who, us up, big hit. Who we has got the you. Job, who um, controls the ice cream truck? Because that's a whole job right there. Tay. Tay, because he was oh, the Tay one leaning on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a, he has a friend. He brings the ice cream. Of, <laughs> so, the outside of the disco <laughs> as, like a, as an option, you know. Yeah, yeah. like in the parking Food lot truck. of the, yeah, yeah, like yeah. next door mm-hmm. is the donut shop. And then in the parking lot is the ice cream truck and then next to a disco. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Whenever I see Hope, just... I think the part that I keep saying all is when he jumped on his back, when Jimin jumped on Cookie's back, and I just thought that was so cute for it's, no reason. It is. Yeah. It's, why, why, okay. See Anywho, right here, I want to see his feet. I do too. Like, please stop saying that because it was annoying me the whole video. I'm like, give me more feet. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Wait, so, are you gonna say something? Candy. Oh no! I, oh, oh. Yeah. oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I was gonna close it out. Or save for another day. Yeah. I'm gonna replay, I'm... but I'm gonna do what Sam said, and I'm replaying the song because I love the song. Right. Is the video that I have the a little bit yeah. of an issue with? I think I agree with you. I'll replay the song. I'm not. Um, might save the video for another day, only because maybe I need to see it with a little bit more. Uh, I think this gave me or something. Mm-hmm. Idol syndrome, where I like the song more by itself than looking at the music video. Right. Like when right. I listened to Idol on Spotify, I was like, "Hold on, am I listening to the same <laughs> song?" But yeah. it's like my eyes were deceiving me. I was so distracted that I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't fully taking in the song until I heard yeah. it without it. And yeah. I feel like this is like there's nothing. It's not distracting. It's just I feel like when we when I was listening to the lyric video, I was so into it. Mm. There was nothing like it wasn't. I wasn't distracted by like angles and right. filters yeah. and blah blah blah. So, yeah, it's a lot of homage, like dance homages, and also like I think movie scene homages too. Because I think it's a lot like, to American. When he did that point in the beginning, mm. yeah. I don't know. I had the epiphany that it was like maybe I was wrong. I mean, it might not be from that movie, but I thought uh, Breakfast Club, <gasps> and, or when when when. Uh, Cookie, I think, had the donut and he said yeah. like that. Yeah. I feel like that was from Breakfast Club. I could be wrong. Like, the principal you, I did think that. you might be right. I haven't watched Breakfast Club in, in a <laughs> while. Yeah. But they did reference a lot of movies. You know what? A they should have movies. BTS, I challenge you to do Good Burger. <laughs> wow. <That> was- <laughs> Welcome to so Good Burger, fun. home of the Good Burger. Can I take Can't your order? <laughs> um, but yeah. So, oh, Marie, you didn't say. Okay, shiny. Um, so where can they find us? Well, if you guys go to K O N N E C T D E N T, you could put an app before that, and then you find us on social media, which you know it's all right there. Or you put the dot com after that, and it takes you to our website where we have all the things about connected. We have our schedule on there. We got our podcast. We got our uh, connection blog. We got a lot of things on there. And if you want to follow our Discord, it's on there as well. We also got some links down below. If you want to hit those links, it'll take you there a little bit quicker. Oh, and like, if you like our video, you like our content. I mean, if you watch till this far, then you obviously like it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you're the first one to be notified whenever we have a new video coming out. Yes. Okay. With that being said, connected over now. Bye.